Hello YouTube land. This is the comic book ninja. It's been a while since my last video, but uh I want to start doing more try to start doing more videos again and uh today I want to focus on foreign editions of comics. I recently picked up uh over the last year or so, I picked up some foreign editions of uh, American comics. What you see here is um, Superman 126. Now it's not a foreign edition, it's the American version, but uh, I want to focus on uh, on um, how foreign editions can be very different other than the language of, of uh, how they present their comics. So we're, here we have uh, Superman 126 and you see the uh, artwork for the American version. Now here is a Spanish language version. It's either from Mexico or Spain. I forgot where it's exactly it's from but you can see how dramatic the artwork changed for the uh, Spanish language version of this issue, and um, and it's a uh, you know basically the same, but they take away different things. Uh, you notice that you know they change change the characters to you know from these uh, scientist-looking guys to to guys in astronaut suits. And, um, you know, they just made it more uh, colorful and dynamic than what the American version is. So I think, I thought that's really interesting. And why I like to get some uh, foreign editions because of what they do. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I really like that. Alright, and here we have Invaders number one. This is a comic that I picked up uh, late, late 20, uh, 2018, and uh, it's a cool comic to have. It's high grade copy. I want to show you the foreign edition, and we got Titans, which is uh, the French version, and you can see differences in uh, between the two the artwork what they did they you know the American version was actually uh, you know more going on but this version the French version they changed the artwork they changed what Captain America and and uh, Submariner were doing but the everything up here is pretty much the same let's see huh? So I thought it's pretty interesting. They're both really good in their own ways. But I, I, I thought it's really interesting how they do things differently uh, in the, for foreign versions. And uh, here we have Strange 140. These are from France. And these are American editions. Usually, um, with this title, they don't. They not only uh, reprint the American version in French, but they have other comics besides uh, the particular issue. Uh, they're reprinting. They have like probably like two or three, probably around three different issues that they reprint in each issue. And this artwork is totally different. Uh, it's not. It's not from any. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not from any other uh, co American cover. They they did a totally different cover for the French version. We have Strange One Thirty Three, Spider Man, and Green Goblin. I really like the artwork for a lot of these. These are these are all basically from the 19 around from the late 1970s to early 1980s. And later on uh this title they just 
they just recycled the covers from the American version. So in this period of time, uh, the French, they uh, did uh, lots of totally different covers. Strange 129, with Iron Man. And I have to admit, a lot of this artwork is really good. Really good. Strange one zero one oh eight for nineteen seventy eight. I had to get these uh, from France. It's hard to find in uh, the United States, but uh, I actually had to go to France to pick these up. This is uh, Strange number one oh seven. Human Torch and uh, Spider Man Spider Buggy. Strange number 95 from 1977. This is Strange Special. Uh, number 32 between Phoenix and here we have strange number 31 here we have strange special number 24 no, uh, this is number 28, yes, from 1982, Spider-Man and the Falcon, really nice artwork. Strange special number 16. Strange special number 21, Strange Storm and the X-Men. Again, the, the artwork on these covers is just great. I really like them. That's why I like to collect them. They're not worth that much, but uh, they are hard to find, and I, I really get a kick of uh, kick having, having some of these covers. They're great. Strange number 165. This one I actually got on eBay. And um, I had to uh, I had to actually pay more for this one. Uh, whereas the, the other ones I paid anywhere from uh, from five to uh, eighteen dollars. This one I had to pay so like uh, thirty to thirty five dollars for it. Uh, an American dealer had it, but it's really nice high grade. Submariner and ROM. Really awesome cover. Finally, we have Strange Number 150 from 1982. And there you have it. I hope you guys like this video. And this is the Comic Book Ninja, signing out.